Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be trying out the new palette from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Whistler Snow Lodge palette. So this launches tonight, so I will not have this video up before it launches, um, but I will have it up tomorrow. This, I just got this in the mail. It got here right as I was starting to make dinner. Um, I think there was a delay with the post office because most people got this a few days ago um, and had time to film and post videos and I have not. Um, and it is now eight o'clock at night. <laughs> And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I am a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a soft spot for any makeup and colorful makeup. And I have new content every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. So I did get this in PR, but I will be completely honest. Also, I do now have a code with Nomad. It's not affiliate, I don't make any money from it, but you can use the code BONES to save 10% on any of your purchases, including this, if you decide to pick it up. So this is really cute. I'm really excited to play with this. I haven't touched it or anything. This is supposed to launch at midnight tonight, the 25th. Uh, so it'll be available tomorrow. They said there should be plenty of stock, so it won't sell out. So when this video goes live tomorrow, uh, it should still be in stock. The first palette they've ever had, like sell out, sell out was the Haunted Europe. And they were not expecting that. I've talked to the owners a lot. They she, she was like, we don't want things to sell. We want them to be available when people want to buy them. So they were, they, they said there should be plenty of stock for this, that it won't sell out. So this retails for $39, but if you do use a code, mine or someone else's, that takes 10% off, so $390. So it's, you know, in that $40 price range, but it'll be closer to $35 once you use a discount code. So this is the outer package. It looks exactly the same as the palette itself. It's over the back. So the back of the actual palette just has like, you know, a little bit of basic info, expiration date. Um, and then the back of the box itself um, always has all of the shades listed. And then it has this little thing here that says this is Whist Whistler, British Columbia, Whistler Village. And then it has like a little description about the inspiration. Um, so the outer box are always very cute. And you also always get a little postcard. So this is a little postcard picture of Whistler. And there's a little thing on the back about the inspiration as well. So I think that's... So cute, I love that they do that. So this is a 15 pan palette, and like I said before, it does retail for $39 before any kind of discount code. Um, it has a 12 month shelf life, and like everything else they make, it's vegan and cruelty free. Um, so when you open it up, you get a nice big mirror, and this really beautiful color story. So I am super, super excited for this. I saw some people say that they thought it looked too blue, but you only have four blues and 11 other shades, so I don't think it's too blue. Um, I'm super excited for this. I really like the layout of it. I'm gonna do some swatches and see how they perform, and then I'm gonna do at least two looks. Since it is eight o'clock at night, I don't know if I'll pull off three, so I'll do at least one on each eye, but I might do a third look, because I have a lot of ideas. I've been planning them since I saw what the color story was. Um, I love that all of the names are puns. I think that's adorable and they just look really beautiful. There's two duochromes, so Powder Specialist and Ski Bum are both duochromes. This would also make a nice highlighter because it's kind of that iridescent pink. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six regular shimmers, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mattes. So I think it's a really nice mix. I also really love the layout of the color story. So you have kind of these more neutral shades here. Gold's not really neutral, but you know, you've got the greens the blues, and then you've got shimmers, and then these warmer shades right here, and a black. So you can easily, if you aren't feeling adventurous, you can easily do, you know, a neutral look. You can use the brown with the brown shimmer if you want. You could do a green look, a blue look, you know, you can do a red look. You can do a lot. Um, I'm hoping, I have some ideas that kind of mix around, so hopefully it works. I also love that they do imprints on every shadow. So you've got the nomad symbol, you've got skis, you've got this little bunny with a mask. There's like a, a gondola like thing here, um, a mountain here, a moose, a fox. There's a variety. There's a, a deer here for the bucking great shade. Um, Haunted Europe, I think had each column had its own imprint. This, they kind of jump around. Um, and I think it looks really cute going down just because I feel like that makes the most sense in the color story. So 
First we've got Ski In, just this nice like pale gold shade. And then Berry Cool is a yellow gold and Gone Skiing is a nice kind of neutral matte. It's kind of a yellowy matte, really like that. So if anybody is new here, um, I do have a medium olive skin tone, so that might affect the way some of these look. Uh, green things tend to look a little different on me, so do yellows. <laughs> That's a really pretty shade. It's a really pretty gold. Kind of looks like you took both golds from Haunted Europe and mushed them together. One was a little more yellow, one was a little more orange, and this is like a little more orangey gold with a little more yellow in the, the ref reflect. And there's the brown. The brown didn't swatch very well. Obviously swatches only tell you really the color, they don't really tell you performance. It feels very silky and soft. So that's a really pretty shade. And then we've got Apre Ski, which is a nice mint. It's very vibrant. Whistler, this is one of the shades I'm most excited about. Looks really pretty. And then Bucking Great. I hate swatching the imprints and ruining them, but I am super excited for that green. So it's just a nice pale mint, kind of pastel. That shimmer is beautiful. And that is a very pretty dark green. And then we've got Snow Bunny. Feels very soft again. Snowmad. That is a pigmented blue. And then Ski Bun. Ski Bum is one of the duochromes. I definitely need to use that. It's like a blue purple. Beautiful. I think that's my favorite shade just looking at it in the palette. So that's the pastel blue. That does not show up on me very well. That's going to be a blending out shade, not really a transition shade for me unless it packs on well. There's the blue, that's just a really beautiful true blue. And that is the duochrome, that is beautiful. There's a duochrome in the Iceland palette, like purple, with a little bit of a blue shift. This is kind of the opposite, it's blue with the purple. I think that's the shade Valkyries. I could be wrong. It's one of my favorite shades in the palette though. <clears throat> okay. So last two rows, we've got Powder Specialist. Really pretty. Yeah, it's just like a iridescent pink. Oh, this feels very creamy. Powder Specialist feels not as creamy as the other shimmers, um, especially after just touching the blue black comb. That is gorgeous. And so a moose. Really pretty brown, but it's like brown with gold and red sparkle in it. Like not a shift, like it's not like a, a lot of their shimmers aren't duochromes, they don't shift, but they have sparkles of other colors. If you've watched my other Nomad videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's really pretty, that's gonna be a nice highlighter shade. That's beautiful. And yeah, if you look close, there's like purple and red sparkle in it. And that's got like green, gold, and red sparkle in it. That's beautiful. I like a brown shimmer. Especially lately. I don't know if it's the gloominess of Seattle, but I'll, I've just been wanting neutrals lately. And then the last column we've got for Fox Sake, which is a nice terracotta brick red. Up to Snow Good. <laughs> which is a really pretty, like, just red, a little bit of a plummier red than a true red. And then Ski Out is a black and it feels very soft and very nice. Okay, so that's just a nice brick red. It's a really pretty red shimmer, kind of a dark red, berry red. And the black, that's a nice black. Okay, so that's the color story. I. I'm really excited to try this out. You could easily do monochromatic looks, but I'm gonna try and mix it up. Um, I'm gonna go wash off my arm and I will be right back. Okay, so I think I have a few ideas 
like I said, you could easily do monochromatic looks, like use just the blues, just the greens, stay neutral. Um, but I want to mix it up a little bit. So, so I'm going to start with a rougher 15. This is a fluffier brush. Um, and I'm going to start with the mint shade. I'm going to do mint and blue. Um, mint's kind of a bluey green, so I think this will work well. So picking that up, that picks up very well. Tapping off, because always. And I'm going to put that in my crease. So that blended out really nicely and really easily. Nomad shadows blend really easily. They're very beginner friendly, especially for a colorful indie brand. Um, they're kind of like lethal in that way where they're soft and they blend well. Some indie colorful shades, you know, don't blend the easiest, but pack a lot of pigment. So it's sometimes a trade-off. So really like that was easy. And then I'll take a rougher 14, which is a little smaller and tapered. I'm gonna pick up Snowmad. Picked up very nicely. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corner and into the crease a little bit and see how well this packs on and blends. So that's really how you know a blue is gonna perform. Sometimes they do one or the other better. And I did primer with my Urban Decay eye primer, like always. Uh, so that's blending really nicely into the mint shade. There's a little bit of skipping on my lid right here, but that's literally every shade. I think that might be the primer, but this is the only primer that doesn't like disappear right here on me. So at least that I've tried. But the easiest way to fix that, if you ever do get a little bit of skipping, you can see those little lines right there. Let's just go back in with that first brush and blend the two together, which is generally something you should do anyway to really make them blend. It's a skip that, it's a skip, it's a step that people sometimes skip, but it really makes a big difference to go back in with that first and blend the two. And see now the, the little lines are gone. They're still there on my lid, but I'm not blending my lid because I'm going to put a shimmer there anyway. Uh, the Bucking Great Shade, which is the dark green. And put that a little bit right here too. Just for a little bit added depth. Pick a little bit of the blue on the same brush and really just pack it on right there because it, it didn't get as dark. Blend it over the other shade. So it could be one of those blues that works if you want it to be truly this dark blue, you start with that shade and then blend it out with the light blue. But it packed on nicely on the outer corner and I like the way the green melted into it. So I'm just gonna take that same little pencil brush that I'm using and kind of rub them right here. Okay, I really like the way that looks. So I could do the blue shimmers, the green shimmers, any of those, but I think I'm going to use the brown. I like contrast and I want to see the brown against the blue, kind of the opposite of doing brown neutrals, blue um, shimmer. And I'm going to grab this. This is a rougher 21 and I'm going to pick up Soa Moost on that. It very nicely and I'm going to spray that. I often use glitter glue or uh, I use glitter glue with most shades but I'm going to spray tonight just because it's already eight o'clock at night I don't feel like glitter glue I don't need this to last forever. I will say Nomad Shadows especially over glitter glue I've never had a problem with them fading or creasing on me, but I don't normally have a problem with sh shadows creasing. This is beautiful. Like, I know it's just a brown, but it's the prettiest brown shimmer I've probably ever used because it's not 
taupe, it's not bronze, but it does have like bronze sparkle in it. It's really beautiful. Then I'm gonna take Ski In, which is the really pale gold on the other side of that brush, and I'm gonna put it right here and blend the two together. I think instead of Ski In, which is there, but like not very bright, I'm gonna pick up the green, the Whistler shade, that pale green, and I'm gonna put that on top of the Ski In and into the brown. And a little bit more of skin right here in the inner corner where it can really pop. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this eye and then we'll do a second look on the other eye. So I'm gonna go off camera and add mascara and stuff and I will be right back. Okay, so I added mascara and eyeliner and I think this eye looks much better once I've added it. I'm really happy with the way this is looking. Um, so I'm gonna do the other eye now. And I think I'm gonna start with, for Fox sake, that nice, um, brick red. Doing another rougher 15. I've just cleaned it off. Tap off the excess and I'm going to pack a little bit here and then blend it into the crease. It's a really pretty shade. This is my favorite shade of red. This kind of bricky shade. I'm going to do just the reds and golds on this side. Do a very warm look. The shade is blending out really nicely. I don't feel like I need another shade to blend out the edges, but if you did, you could always use a cream colored shade or a brown in any other palette or like whatever you use to set your face, kind of a face powder. But I think this is blending out really nicely. with very little effort. And then I'm just gonna run that same shade along my lower lash line. And I messed up and got a little bit more right here than I want, but I will fix that with concealer in a second. If you ever do that and you used a brush for your concealer, you can always just take the same brush and pat out the edge. I almost always pat out the edges right here just to make sure it looks nice and clean after every look, even if I don't mess up. <laughs> and then this has blue on it from the last look, but if you, nothing's coming off. So it's been cleaned off, it's just kind of stained. I'm gonna go into the Gone Skiing, that dark brown. Picked up very nicely. And I'm gonna put that on the outer edge and see how dark I can get that. I can always go into the black as well. If you were scared of trying the brick red shade like this as bold, you can always do like a two-tone crease or you could do it under your eye. I think this would be a really pretty shade packed on the lid. It's just like a simple. Really nice. Going back into the brick shade with the same fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna blend the two together. So I like the way that looks. There's a decent amount of depth, but for my liking, I'm gonna go into the black. Just picked up a little brush, a little bit of it, nothing really came off when I tapped. And I'm just gonna put that right there. And then what I tend to do for black, especially if you're nervous to try black, is I'll pack a little bit on, wipe off the excess, so there's nothing really on the brush, and then blend it out into the outer corner down here and up there a little bit. And that helps to not have too much pigment on there and have black everywhere. Okay, so I really like that look very fire and ice vibes. Um, so, which I would not go out like this in, but I think since I already used the brown shimmer on this eye, um, I 
could do very contrasting is the blue, but I think I'm gonna go in with uh, Very Cool and maybe Powder Specialist. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'll do a gradient of all three. So I'm gonna start with Up to Snow Good. Picks up very nicely. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that right here just because it's such a dark shimmer. That's really pretty. It's a little purple. It's kind of a berry red. I'm gonna go into the gold. I'm gonna spray that. I missed and sprayed the wall the first time. And I'm gonna put that here. I love that. That's a really pretty gold. Yellow gold is not the most unique shade, but sometimes it just really is necessary for the color story, so. And it looks good on so many people. <laughs> and then using this little pencil brush, I'm gonna pick up Powder Specialist, and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. So by spraying it, it really brought out the pink. It's really beautiful. It's like pinky purple. Taking the same little pencil brush, I'm gonna go back into Up to Snow Good, and I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna go finish this look off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so this is the finished first two looks. Finished with mascara and eyeliner. It's my House Labs eyeliner like always, and then I used my Urban Decay mascara. Had some struggles with this side. I feel like I always have one side that looks great and works fine and one side that I the mascara doesn't wanna work. Um, kind of like with lashes. But I really like both of these. I think the brown against the blue and the mint has kind of like made it kind of a green brown. I don't know. I just think it looks really interesting, very earthy. This kind of looks like something I would make with the Cenote palette from Hip Dot, like that kind of I don't think there's the shade in there, but you know, like that, the Cenote vibe is what I'm getting. And then this is just fiery and really beautiful and I'm really, really happy with both of these. Um, I do wanna use some of the other shades. So I haven't used either Blue Shimmer or the Light Blue Matte. Um, that's really it. <laughs> so I think I will do a third look where I use these two because I just need to. So, it's nine something, might as well take some photos, wipe off my eyes, and do another look, since it's not going up before this launches anyway. <laughs> um, but I really like this, so let me know in the comments below what you think of look one, and what you think of look two, and I will be back to do look three in just a minute. Okay, so I'm back. I wiped off my brushes so they don't have any shadow on them and I wiped off my eyes. I do have a little bit of mascara still, but until I do a deep cleanse, that's gonna be there and it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna put more on anyway. So, now that I've done a blue look and a warm look, I think I want to use the blue shimmers really badly. So, I'm going to try and see how versatile this brown is. So I reprimed with my Urban Decay Eye primer, did concealer again because I messed up everything down here. I'm going in with the fluffy brush again. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the brown and I'm gonna put it right here and blend it into the crease. I didn't set the primer or anything. So we'll see how this works. Especially since I just wiped off shadow. <laughs> Okay, so that didn't take very much effort. I missed a spot there, but it didn't take very much effort to get that brown all over. And obviously I could have done monochromatic blue and done the blues with the blue shimmers, but I just don't, don't feel like doing monochromatic. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of bucking grate and I'm gonna put that out here as well. So this is a pretty versatile shade. I managed to get it, it's smoky. It's not like a super light matte, 
but I did manage to use it all over, and you can see it's darker here than here, which is nice. Try not to put this in the way. <laughs> okay, so I like the way that looks. I'm gonna do that on the other eye real quick, and I will be right back. Okay, so I've got the brown down. This side was a little easier, so I think this side just hadn't set. The primer hadn't, like, set enough, so it was a little stickier. So this side was definitely easier to blend, went on really easily. Um, and now I really want to use the blues. So, I'm going to pick up same brush. I'm going to pick up Black Comb, just the dark blue shimmer. It's beautiful. And I'm going to spray that. <laughs> And I'm gonna put that on the back half of my lid. Oh, that's so pretty. And if you wanna see what any of these shades look like just everywhere, um, my friend Nikki Raven has a, a video I was watching all of them that she posted today. So I will link her channel. I am very grateful that she does those videos because I could not, my eyes, could not handle that. They can barely handle this. She also posted a five look one video, five look video yesterday. So that's beautiful. That is a vibrant blue. And then picking up the other side, of the brush. I'm gonna go into Ski Bum, which is the duochrome. And I want that to be the star of the show. I think, I think that's gonna be my most used shadow in the palette. And you could easily do, I got spray all over the mirror. Um, you could easily do a simple look with just this, but let's, oh yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I almost put just that on the lid. Kind of wish I would have, cause it's so pretty. But I do like a gradient. So I'm just overlapping the two blues in the middle, so they blend together, and there's that darker blue there, and then the duochrome here. Oh, that's so pretty. And that's why I went with just the brown and a little bit of the green there, just because I really wanted the focus to be the shimmer. I love that. Okay. And then, let's take tiny, tiny pencil brush. This is a Refer 23. I'm going to pick up that other duochrome powder specialist, put a little bit here and blend it in. This is the perfect inner corner shade because it's so little. Or inner corner brush, not shade. I mean, that's a perfect inner corner shade too, but... And actually, I'll pick up a little bit of the duochrome as well and put that down here and put myself in the eye, apparently. That's what I get for doing my makeup at 10 o'clock at night. Okay, I love this. These two blues together are so beautiful. I'm gonna take a highlighter brush and pick up a little bit of powdered specialist, powder specialist, and try that as a highlighter as well, because why not? Yeah, it's definitely that iridescent pink. Not a highlighter I use very often. I just don't like pink on me that much because I'm olive. Um, but it's really pretty. That makes a nice highlighter. So I'm going to go repeat this on the other eye and finish mascara and stuff again, and I will be right back. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. I added mascara and liner and stuff again, and this is the finished third look. This is my favorite but this is also the kind of one that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. It also has my favorite shade in the palette on, which is that Ski Bum Duochrome, which is so pretty. Like, I wish the camera could do it justice. It is so pretty. I, uh, I just, I have no words. It's such a pretty shade. Um, so I've used every shade in here except for the Snow Bunny Light Blue. I did throw a little bit on 
right here to kind of blend out. Um, and it seems like it's a good blending out shade, but not really, it doesn't, for me, it's not pigmented enough to use as a transition shade. But to blend out the edges of Snowmad, perfect. So I've now used basically every shade in here. Um, I will keep playing with this in the coming weeks. And at the end of the month, beginning of February, because I'm going out of town next weekend, I will post a what I think of everything I tried in January video. Um, so I will update you then. But so far, I think this is definitely worth it. This is really good quality. I think Nomad, I think, is making little changes. I mean, I haven't talked to them and asked them for details, but it feels like they're making little tweaks to the formula. So everything I've tried over the last year or so has just been like steady improvements. Um, and they already had a nice formula, so. Um, if you're worried that it's too similar to the Iceland palette from last January, I will show you it's, there are not, no direct dupes. And I was right, it is Valkyries. <laughs> um, you can see this is a little more, the blues here are a little different. Like this is deeper than Niflheim, Niflheim, Nif, Nilfheim. Um, Frigg is a little icier. It's kind of, Frigg is like if you put Apriski and Snow Bunny together. Um, this Nord shade, this is kind of in between these two. It's, you know, a little darker than this. This is very orange. This is very brick. This is very true red. This is a little more berry. So there aren't any direct dupes. Um, this has actual greens. This doesn't. This is kind of a green to it. And this is like a green but not at all like these earthy greens. So I would say if you have this, you could definitely get this and make different looks. Um, they're both that warm, cool combo that I love. Um, this, I feel like this is a little more grounded and earthy than this was, um, which I appreciate. I definitely think I like for Fox sake better than I like these two bright fiery shades. I like those. I just, I like an earthy red more. Um, and you can see here's that shade I mentioned, Valkyries. So it's not the same, but similar kind of vibe. I would say the new shimmers are even, so if you've used this or any of their older shades, I would say these new ones are even creamier. So there's Valkyries. And there's the new one. So you can see this one's a little icier. It's got a little bit more baby blue with the pink purple. And this is more just kind of purpley blue, periwinkle. Um, so they look a little similar, but they, they definitely look different. And this is definitely brighter and icier and I think different enough. Um, this is my favorite shade in the palette. I'm, I'm obsessed. So... I've used almost every shade. I don't, obviously I can't tell you how they wear throughout the day because I got this at night, but I will update you on that in the future. And if it's anything like their other ones, it's fine. I've never had them bald or disappear or fade. Um, I feel like I've worn their, I've worn this palette especially 12, 15 hours without issue. So, and these feel even nicer. So I have no, doubt that the quality is there to last all day and so <clears throat> so if the color story speaks to you i highly recommend this like i said by the time this video is up this will already be live it is 39 dollars um they do a pretty good black friday sale but obviously that's months and months away but uh i think this is definitely worth picking up if it speaks to you and like i said i do have a code now it is bones um, it'll also be in the description box. It saves you 10%. It's not affiliated. I don't make any money from that. It's just to help you save money. So you don't even have to use mine, but use someone's. Use a code. I know some people have affiliate codes, like Nikki Ravens is affiliated, so she'll earn a commission. I don't earn a commission on mine. So, but just always use a code because it saves you money. And that's important to me. Um, so 
Let me know what you think of this third look in the comments below and what you think of the palette. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.